In this video, I'm going to show the stairs and how they've been implemented in the engine. But first, we'll start off with the actual model provided by the artists. And I'll show the geometry. And this is the collision geometry for the stairs. Again, it's very simple. Here, I just want the character just walking up a ramp really smoothly. So I won't actually be implementing stair climbing for this in the game. For actual stair climbing, you can see one of my previous videos where I show how I smooth out the camera and get the the character to go up a some flight of stairs. That was for a first person shooter uh, player controller that I did a while back. So that's the geometry. And next I'm going to be showing a little bit of math on how I get the player to auto climb a ramp. So here is a little bit of basic math for how I did this. Uh, assume the character is just moving along the floor and he hits the ramp and he's moving at a certain velocity V as I show here. So eventually the collision system will return the plane of the convex brush that you've uh, intersected and with that you will be given the nor the normal which is perpendicular to the to the ramp. So what you do is you take the um, the dot product and if you don't know the dot product you can easily google it but it's just uh, sort of the uh, component by component multiplication be between two vectors and one of the relationships that you get of the dot product if you have two vectors a and b is that the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b uh, cos theta now here one thing you can do is because the normal has a length of one at least it should, you can just get rid of A. And then you'll be just left with B cos theta. Now, if you substitute, here your normal was a magnitude of one, it's V cos theta. So it's the velocity vector times the cos of theta, which would be the projection of the velocity onto the normal vector. That's assuming that, um, okay, I'll do my uh, theta. I'll just show that here. So if that was your theta, should have done that earlier. So that would be your theta. So if you take your velocity and the cos of theta, you're just going to get the projection of that velocity vector on your normal. So it's just going to be a scalar value. So once you have the scalar value, it's just a matter of taking the velocity, um, that projection value, which is right here, which is the dot product between the velocity and the normal, and then multiplying that value by the normal so that you can get the act your um, velocity vector that's projected on the normal. And that'll be this dashed line. So now you have your velocity, and then you have your projected velocity on the normal. So all you need to do really is you take your velocity, subtract uh, this portion, which is the velocity projected on the normal vector. And then what you're going to get is your clip velocity or a velocity that's, that's parallel to the slope of the ramp. And that's exactly what you want because that's all you're going to do. You're just going to feed that to your character's position and he's just going to automatically go up the ramp. One thing you need to note is that this clip velocity will not have the same length as the original velocity vector. Now, if you don't deal with that, what will happen is your character will be running at a certain speed. And then once he goes up the ramp, he'll slow down because it's not at the same speed. You may or may not want that in the game. But what you do is you just save the length of the original velocity vector before it was clipped. And then you normalize your clip velocity and multiply by the length. So then this vector will have eventually will have the same length as the velocity vector. So even if you go up ramps, uh, you won't slow down. And that's what I did for this game. So once I do all that, uh, I'll just have 
a vector that's just a little bit longer than the clip velocity like so but it'll it'll be the same length as the original velocity so you'll you won't get slow downs when you're going up uh, ramps so you may or may not want that it all depends on what type of game you're doing in the gameplay but like I said I just keep the math pretty simple so I don't get into trouble uh, with collision or with the character controller just simple solutions to get what I need and next I'm going to show the uh, just the stairs in the editor so I've already placed some stairs so eventually the character like I showed before he's just gonna go up the ramps and then onto the trains and if he so chooses he can get off the ramp and or the stairs at any any um, portion of the stairs that he wants to I guess I'll show the wireframe so there you can get an idea of the mesh not too many triangles let's go back to the so like I said he won't be actually doing stair climbing but for this type of game it's not really necessary so it's just a ramp that he goes up and it's good enough for this game when you see it in the engine you'll see that it's a it's a good collision shape for this especially since it's a casual game so next what I'm going to show is the actual character interacting with these stairs and him going up the trains and a little bit of the gameplay with the stairs so that'll be in the second portion of this video in this part of the video you can see the stairs are in the uh, game level and the character is going up the stairs so again I wanted smooth stair climbing and I didn't want to simulate him going up the stairs and it works fairly well for what I'm trying to achieve and at any time you can get off the stairs Oh, I'll restart it. So here he continues. And the camera f smoothly follows the player as he goes up the stairs. So now you have different options. You can go up the stairs, up the mine carts. So different ways you can go around the level. So I can drop off and go up these stairs or these ones. So that's what I have to show for uh, stair climbing. I did it, uh, I guess we could call it the easy way and it still works. And for this game, it's, it's good enough. So, uh, Till next time, that's what I have to show today. Thanks and bye.